Kisses, Dr. Love. Very appropriate music here as we talk to Dr. Love herself. Dr. Jamie Turndorf joins us now from the land of love, uh, our relationship expert. And uh, Dr. Jamie, we have uh, a couple of questions that we would like to have you answer for our audience. First and foremost, best advice for getting what you want out of your relationship. Give. Give. (laughs) Give. You reap what you sow. That's you want to get, give. If you're not getting, getting, it means you're not giving enough of what your partner wants. It's it, natural, right? We want to give back when we feel given to. But, you know, we, we are becoming a society that is increasingly introspective, increasingly self-centered. Uh, we don't have a lot of high touch in our communication anymore. Does this make it hard for people to understand the concept of giving? Well, the thing is, Sometimes you have to explain it in down-to-earth terms, right? Mm -hmm. It's not even a concept. You know it's human nature, right? When someone is generous with you, you feel like giving back. Even babies know that. If you want your mommy to do something for you, you smile. You give her a smile, mommy gives you back a hug. It's sort of built into our instinctual life. We just know it intuitively. So if you're not getting... Instead of focusing on your own empty well, you have to say, how am I starving the other person? The other person feels fed, I'm going to get. That's just it. So what you're saying is don't wait around to get before you give. Be be the first person to step up and do the giving. That's it. That's it. And what you receive is a mirror of what you're putting out. When we go into relationships, we're always starry-eyed and we have that hot romantic love when you've been married 27 years, like Kevin and I have, not to each other, of course. No, uh, but we've both been married to our respective spouses for 27 yeah. years. How, how do we keep that moving? You know, it's so amazing you said 27 years, because that's the exact number of years that I was married to my husband, who died of a bee sting. I'm so sorry. And, yeah, and that is the subject of my latest Hay House book, Love Never Dies, How to Reconnect and Make Peace with the Deceased, where I show, I mean, we had such an incredible connection in life that Love Never Dies shows how we continue our relationship even in spirit form. So, I mean, love is, is an active word. It's an action word. It's not people often think about, I'm not getting enough love. It kind of goes to your first statement. I want more, more, more. But love is an action verb. What are you doing to keep that love alive? It's the same as a car. If you don't put oil and gas and maintain the car, it dies in a ditch. Our relationships are the same. And in Love Never Dies, I show the power of a really strong love connection on earth that just continues in spirit form and that uh, we can cultivate these connections and keep them going, and we should keep them going. We're meant to continue loving and loving people even when they're in spirit form and that's what I'm all about. Love, Dr. Love. <laughs> we, we are going to ask you to kind of hang on with us, if you will. We have a little break here. we got to pay some bills and check on traffic. And, and when, when we come back, uh, I am very interested in your 10 simple steps to cooling conflict and rekindling your relationship. We're going to talk about fighting fair or arguing nicely or how not to kill your relationship with your big mouth when we come back. How would that be? <laughs> It's 828 AM Baton Rouge continues. We continue our discussion with Jamie Turndorf, nationally known as Dr. Love. Glad to have you with us on the program, and thanks for your patience. No Jamie, problem. In, in, in the time we've got left here, let's talk about, um, you wrote a book about this, 10 Simple Steps to Cooling Conflict and Rekindling Your Relationship. Uh, kiss Your Fights Goodbye, that's the title. All right, let's talk about yeah. the right way and the wrong way to settle a conflict in a relationship. Right. So, you know, most of us, when we get angry, we let ourselves rip. It's like we're taking verbal turds on each other. <laughs> <laughs> right? I'm just getting it out. There goes our out. license. Just, right? <laughs> so, uh, but the thing we don't realize is whatever you say and do boomerangs back on you. And while it may feel good to get your emotional rocks off on someone, on the rocks is where your relationship ends up. Because whatever you say and do boomerangs back on you. Mm-hmm. So you have to mind your mouth or your relationship will go south. If it would hurt your feelings to hear it, don't say it to someone else. Right. And, you know, people don't realize, well, I'm just getting my rocks off. I just feel, you know, uh, no. You have to stop saying that. You hurt your partner. (laughs) 
<laughs> it may feel good in the moment, but it's going to bite you in the butt. Oh. Because your, your partner's mad at you. Your partner's going to pay you back in spades. And most people get into, most couples get into this kind of, well, payback thing. Well, now I, mean, I didn't forget what you said. Now I'm going to stick it to you. <laughs> We're back to that again. <laughs> so, uh, and so that's what Kiss Your Fights Goodbye is all about. I, it's my proven conflict resolution method, and I to, to show you how to handle the inevitable conflicts that arise in relationships in a way that brings you closer together. How bad is tears you apart. how bad is scorekeeping between a couple? Well, of that's what I call. I have a chapter in Kiss Your Fights Goodbye called Fight Trap. Fight traps are those faulty, dysfunctional fighting tactics we all use, and scorekeeping is a biggie. Well, you know, I've taken the garbage out a thousand times. Well, you know, I gave you oral sex ten million times. You know, right. <laughs> it, it, it kills oh, you kids because it heats the climate and causes more fighting. <laughs> Well, we've managed to rack up five FCC violations and, no, and no, a no, no, whole no, no, no. lot of listen, knowledge. Listen, listen, guys, I want to explain this to you. I'm a doctor, so doctors are allowed to talk in a clinical way. And I talk all over the country, radio and TV. And of course, I have my own syndicated radio show. Never had a violation because doctors have more leeway to slip it in. We're just having fun with We're you. just having a good time with you. <laughs> you heard what I said. I have more leeway to slip it in. <laughs> <laughs> She's incorrigible. Dr. Love, and she lives up to her name. Jamie Turndorf, I wish we had more time, but we will have you back on the program. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Okay. Uh, let's give her Vance McAllister's phone number before we leave. <laughs> <laughs> CBS News coming your way next. Plus, we'll check in with Michelle in the WBRP News Center. That's all coming up. Talk 107.3.